Hey guys, welcome back to BK Trading Academy. So we're gonna look at the S&P 500 ETF and what my thoughts on about trading it. So let's go ahead and take a look. But before we do that, I want you guys to take a look at the perception of the market. Sometimes we can be deceived by the market thinking that price is in an uptrend when it's in a downtrend or when price is in a downtrend when we think it's in an uptrend. But I'm going to show you some ways, some easy ways to actually identify the difference so that you won't get stopped out hitting your stop loss. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So guys, we're looking at the S&P 500 ETF right here. We're on the four hour chart. This ticker symbol is SPY. It follows the New York Stock Exchange. And so we can see that it's currently trading at $395.95 and it's moving up and down. So we're on the four hour here. And so one might look at this chart and say, hey, it is in an uptrend. I'll go ahead and grab my trend line and connect our points here and hey once it hits our trend line it's safe for a buy so i want to show you the misconceptions of doing that but now before we do that i want you to take a look at my weeble account here this is where i trade stocks sometimes either between here or trading view depending on the broker i'm using but when we do this here we're looking at the spx here which is right here and this is an index so something oftentimes people get confused between the etf and the index and if you notice the price here it says three thousand nine hundred and sixty one dollars and and some change and we can even see it here on the right corner here so you may be confused especially those who are new traders and say well hey one share is worth three thousand nine hundred sixty one dollars and some change just for one share so in actuality you can't really trade the SPX the index of the S&P 500 you cannot trade it this is more of an indicator of how the S&P 500 is now those who are new S&P 500 is stocks of the top 500 companies so this is more of an indicator of how it's doing so let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about I'm on the four hour chart here and you can see how this is looking here so we have our our trend here from the lows to the tops here and if we go back to my other chart here on the SPY is the exact same thing except the price is $396. So you can actually trade the ETF at $396 per share. You just can't trade the index. Now that's different if you were trading like options, for example, where you're not actually trading it in regards to like stocks, but you're more uh, betting on if you think that price is going to become bearish or bullish but that's a completely different video so let's go ahead and look back at the ETF here and so we can clearly see that we're in an uptrend so typically when we see that we would typically buy off of this trend line to the upside and take profit so let me show you the uh, the deception here so I'm going to go to the daily time frame here and as I scroll out what are we in now now, some may say we're in a downtrend. They may connect these highs here to the lows and saying that it's uh, lower highs and lower lows. And so we're, we'll do something like that. And then we'll uh, do a channel if we want to do channel trading. And so we'll say that we're actually at the top of a downtrend. So we actually need to sell. So where are we at? That's the deception of the market. I'm going to clearly show you what to do. So if you've been following us for a while on this channel, you know that we always say to the start off on the higher time frame whether if it's the daily weekly or monthly so i'm going to zoom out a bit to the weekly here so we can see a clear picture and this is why we always say to go to the higher time frame because it will give you a clear picture as to where you're at okay so we can clearly see from the bottom here all the way back in 2016 we're in an uptrend right we're making higher highs higher lows it broke it and then it continued higher and now since december 2021 it start dropping so like what should that. we do in this case that's when you'll start drilling down to the lower time frame but you always want to start on the higher time frame so you can get the big picture instead of starting on the lower time frame thinking that you're in an uptrend when you're actually in a downtrend so according to the weekly we are now starting a downtrend right so here is our line right here so this is the key level right here that I'm actually looking at and I'll tell you why I'm looking at this level right so price broke it was starting an uptrend from back here it broke down made new lower lows and then it started another uptrend from here making higher highs and higher lows if you don't know what higher highs and higher lows is and what a trend is we have plenty of videos in our playlist I would suggest for you to go back and take a look but we go really in detail about what a trend is and how to execute on those trends but according to the s p 500 etf we were in an uptrend here starting from march 2020 that was during the pandemic when it made all-time lows and it started to increase really fast so typically after a pandemic or after big global news happen then you will see a big push or a big 
bullish push to the upside in which we did and really, really fast. And typically when you see something go up really fast, it will start to drop really fast. The same in reverse. If you see something drop really fast, it will typically go up really fast. So now we are making lower highs and lower lows and we're trapping this in the channel. So keep in mind that S&P 500 ETF is simply a percentage of every Fortune 500 companies within the stock, except you're purchasing it at a discount, as opposed to if you're buying Apple alone and Microsoft alone and Chipotle alone and all these other companies alone, which will accumulate a lot more than this $396. The way I would currently trade this is in a current downtrend unless it started making higher highs and higher lows. So if we were only looking at this here, we would think we're in an uptrend. So if I go down to the one hour chart, I'll fix my chart up here. This looks just like an uptrend right here. So this was the line that I just drew. We're clearly in an uptrend. OK, so what we will typically do is you can see how price is moving up here. So we're actually in an ascending triangle. An ascending triangle simply means that when you have an uptrend here, and then you also have a downtrend on the top here, and it's actually be coming to a point, and as it gets closer to the point, a breakout is coming. And it can be a breakout to the upside or a breakout to the downside. Now, typically in an uptrend, in an ascending triangle, it typically breaks out to the upside. And when I say breakout, it's usually a forceful push so what i mean by that is that you'll see price hit here and then you'll see it come down and then you'll see the exact same thing and once it gets closer to the narrow end it will break out pretty forcefully something like that so remember we're on the hourly chart here okay so if you wanted to trade it in the short term you can actually uh, well, since we missed this area right here, right off of the trend line, it will be a little too late unless you decide to purchase now or wait for the pullback and to the back to the trend right here before buying to the upside on the trend line up here. Now, the problem with that is it may not pull back to the trend line yet. It may continue to the upside to the top of the trend line, come back down and do something like that. So that's on the hourly. Now, if you're executing on the hourly, you plan on day trading. You don't plan on being in the trade for too long. So let's go back out to the daily. Now, if you plan on being in a trade for a while, now we're going to look at the daily trend so we can see that price is currently dropping, right? So when you're trading ETFs or any types of stocks, it's best to trade with the trend or it's best to trade uh, bullish, in my opinion, as opposed to bearish. Now, we talked about this in other videos. If you sell, when you're selling stocks, there's more risks involved because you have to have a, a margin account. And so that, in other words, you're borrowing from your broker and you have to pay it back. And so there's technicalities in that in which we go deeper into that. However, I would wait for price to either pull back to this downside here, which can take a while before it comes up like this. But in my opinion, from where price is currently at, temporarily, at least intraday, for at least maybe a few days, even swing trade, I think price will continue possibly to this upside here before it starts to drop again, right? So remember that trend line that I drew here on the hourly chart. So we're pretty much trapping price. We actually had that ascending triangle. And so it should respect this here, but I believe overall price will break out to the upside because typically we're trading with the Fortune 500 companies. These are healthy companies and they move along with each other on the S&P 500. So overall, we can say that price will continue to the upside. However, with the increasing interest rates within the United States, that can sometimes change everything. And I believe that's why we see this downtrend data here on the daily chart because of how things been going on this year along, including with the pandemic and the interest rates and the housing market and all of the things like that is comprised in which these Fortune 500 companies have been dropping. It's been trying to stay afloat, but it's been dropping overall. But overall, the Fortune 500 companies are pretty strong. So I do believe eventually it's gonna break through that ascending triangle uh, or this flag pattern. This is considered a flag pattern. And when you have a flag pattern, uh, when you see the flagpole right here, 
and then it starts to head down. So there's bearish sentiment here and then it continues to the upside. So that agrees along with my ascending triangle in which there's a short downtrend and then it will continue to the to the upside eventually. OK, so that's my input on the SPY. So I showed you the difference between SPY and SPX. You can't trade SPX unless you're trading options in which you're typically betting on the direction of the SPX, but not actually trading because there's no stocks in the XPX, but you can trade the ETF, which is the SPY, which is comprised of the Fortune 500 companies. Guys, I hope you learned something with this. We know that a lot of you guys are interested in stocks and just wanting to know the basics. So you can pretty much trade stocks just like you trade Forex, but typically you want to go long. So you want to buy when price is at a discount rather than always shorting, which causes more risk. So that's just in my opinion, guys. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this if you want me to continue to drop more trade ideas about stocks. And if so, what stocks would you like for me to evaluate? I would love to do that with you. In the meantime, if you struggle with Forex and you're looking to get your hand held, we have an academy. Everything is in the description below. I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.